Good morning. Welcome back to Visual Fitness. I am Annette. I'm a certified personal trainer and soon to be a nutrition coach and yoga instructor. This is the Fit 66 Challenge and we are on day 15. So today is a rest day and we're just going to be doing some wall stretches, which is why I'm over here today. So you are going to need a mat for this or a comfy carpet. But we're going to start standing and we're going to do a side stretch using the wall. So you're going to start by bracing yourself with your hand closest to the wall, cross your wall side foot in front of the other, and then we're going to create a curve and come to meet the wall. And you can get as close or move as far away from the wall as you need to to get the good stretch in and also not strain or hurt yourself. Breathe deep into that stretch. And let go. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So brace with your wall hand. Foot closest to the wall is going to cross over your outside leg and arm up to the wall, create a nice curve in your side. And let go. Now we're gonna do a puppy stretch on the wall and you can do this either standing or on your knees. Just so it's easier to see, I'm gonna go down on my knees so you can do it from here or in the standing position. And you're gonna to wanna to get your chest as close to the wall as you can. And you can do this either with your arms out, pressing your chest up against the wall. Or if that is a little outside of your range of flexibility, then you can go on your elbows, which should bring you a little closer without having to stretch as hard. And push out. So now you're gonna get down on your back, shift your butt about a foot away from the wall, put your feet on the wall, and then we're going to do a figure four stretch. The wall's gonna hold your bracing foot, and then you're gonna bring the other one into a figure four, just resting your foot on the supporting leg. Switch feet. and come down. So now you're gonna scoot your butt a little closer to the wall and we're gonna do hamstring stretches. So you're going to put your feet straight up on the wall and if this is enough of a stretch for you, you can stay here. But if you wanna get a little more pull in behind, you can start to stretch your legs out into the splits 
use the wall for support, and then just hold as far and as long as you need to. Breathe into it, feel that pull inside and behind your thighs. and we're gonna use the wall to do a downward dog. So you're gonna position your hands on the wall with your feet back as though you were doing a downward dog on the floor, but you're using the wall instead. And again, you can pedal out your legs here if you need to. This is a really nice back stretch. I find I get a little better of a back stretch doing this against the wall than on the floor. And much like down dog on the floor, you can get a little bit more stretch by lifting out the legs. And then you're gonna walk the feet towards the wall. We're gonna go into a forward fold. You can do this with your back towards the wall just to kind of help stabilize from this way and keep you in a good fold. Or you can use it to help straighten out your back end and press your bum and your heels as close to the wall as you can and go into the forward fold and just use the wall for a little bit more stability. If that's what you need in your forward folds, to a runner's lunge. So you're gonna go down onto all fours. You're gonna put one leg up against the wall and get your opposite leg in a lunge position. This way gives a really good stretch in the foot. Switch legs. And release, going back with our bums on the floor. And we're gonna do our last two positions. So, you're gonna want your bum close to the wall. We're gonna start with butterfly. So for these two positions, you're just gonna be using the wall for support. And a little more leverage in your stretch. So the wall is going to hold your feet and you're just going to use your hands to push on your knees. This way is great for someone who has some issues with the butterfly stretch because the wall will kind of hold you in place and it's a little easier to figure out your range of flexibility within your hips. And then lastly, we're going to bring the feet out for happy baby. And 
And again, you can do this closer to the wall for a little more stability if you wanted to be right up against the wall. And then you don't have to bring your feet out. I like to rock in this position because I am a giant happy baby. <laughs> but it is good as a wall stretch because you can rest your feet on the wall and still get that good stretch in your hip joints. So it's a little like the straddle that we did earlier to stretch the hamstrings, but this one pulls in the hips. And then once you're done, you can loon up the clown it and just roll down. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for joining. If you're just coming in on this video, feel free to go check out the Fit 66 playlist. All the videos are down there. Start from day one and join us. You can catch up pretty quickly. Tag me in your Fit 66 posts on your social medias. I will be keeping an eye out. Like this video, share it with your friends, and congratulations on making it to day 15. We'll see you tomorrow.